What's going on everyone, Austin Chum plays here and today I'm going to be going over how you could catch the Titan Pokemon of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This mechanic is honestly kind of similar to how it was back in Pokemon Sun Moon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon that evolved the Totem Pokemon. And when you encounter the totem Pokemon, you were able to catch them. It's actually executed a little bit better. So it's a fun boss fight or very simple boss fight. But here's the thing. If you go back to the locations in which you battled the Titan Pokemon, you're going to notice that they're there. <laughs> there's a regular Don fan and there's one from the future. These are static placements. They are going to be shiny locked and you're going to notice some things like if you throw a Pokeball at it, it doesn't do anything. That's because that's not a regular wild encounter. Instead, it's the kind of encounter that you have to walk up to and press A. Before doing so, I definitely recommend turning off auto saves and putting down a manual save. To be clear, I'm not exactly too sure if these Pokemon can or do respawn or when they do. But when in front of one of these Titan Pokemon, you just simply press A and you go inside of a battle. Now you're going to notice that this, this is not the size of a Titan Pokemon. You're probably wondering what I'm talking about if I'm clickbaiting you or something else like that. These are considered the X Titans. They were once Titan Pokemon, but after defeating them, you can encounter them and try to catch them just like regular Pokemon. Quick ball, quick ball. Aww. I would like to catch all of these in luxury balls. Why? No good reason. I just really like the way the Luxury Ball looks in this game. If you're playing Pokemon Violet, then this Pokemon is going to be a unique encounter and that it's going to be Iron Treads. Meanwhile, if you're playing Pokemon Scarlet, you're going to be having the past version of Donphan, which is going to be Great Tusk. Don't make me waste all these Luxury Balls. Oh, Critical Capture. We got it. Nice. This does mean that while you're progressing through the game, you can actually get these Paradox Pokemon before you get access to the end game and you can catch them freely. You're also going to see that you have the ability to sign a ribbon or mark, and they're going to have the Titan mark, a mark for a Pokemon that was a Titan. If I throw it out in battle, does it, does it say the X Titan? Nope, maybe in a trainer battle. By the way, we should probably mention that your Great Tusker Iron Treads is going to be located here in the desert. When you catch these Titan Pokemon, they're going to be having six IVs that are all 30. So it's not six perfect IVs of 31, it's just a hair below perfect. You know, how often do you see a 630 IV Pokemon? These Pokemon on the size chart are rated 255, being the largest possible, which was previously exclusive for the Alpha Pokemon of Pokemon Legends Arceus. And, as you can see, 255 isn't that much bigger in this game. He is ever so slightly larger. And once you make your way over to the area where the rocks were falling from the sky, which is going to be right here, for reference, here's the Ice Wren Shrine, and here is the West Province Area 1 Central Pokemon Center. When you're here, you're going to be able to find this guy. And you're going to know that it's the Titan because you can't run into it and you can't throw a Pokeball at it. Instead, you have to press A and interact with it. Again, drop down a save beforehand. This guy's only level 20, so shouldn't be any problem. Bombardier over here has Torment. So, if you're trying to afflict it with the status condition, it can get a little annoying. Also, I'm now down to eight luxury balls, so I probably shouldn't waste it while it's drowsy. I got three luxury balls left. It's not going great. Get in the ball, Nebby. Oh, critical capture. I needed that. Thanks. Thanks, game. There's a very good chance that, like, you've walked past these Pokemon and you thought it was just a wild one, so you didn't think anything of it. All right, let's head back on over to the... Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was I was walking around and I'm like, I don't know exactly where the cloth location is. I'm just going to go look for, the, look for the hole in which he appeared in. But I'll take this. That's for sure. <laughs> oh... <laughs> You know, some of the new Pokemon, you're not exactly too sure what their shiny looks like, but hard to miss that one. <laughs> oh, that's that's a bright one. 
Yeah, it is. This is not the Titan, by the way. Definitely not the Titan. Again, the Titans are shiny locked. This is the first one. This might, I think this is the first random shiny during a recording. They happen a lot during Pokemon Legends Arceus, but this is the first one during Scarlet and Violet. Instantly, the video deserves a like. That's the rule. We don't disrespect the rules here. As always, you know, make sure auto saves are off and you save right in front of a shiny, which I already had auto saves off because I was doing these Titans. Oh, and we got the turn one hypnosis. Of course we did. See, I normally catch them in Premier Balls, but he's so bright blue. How do you not go for a dive ball? Mm, it's hard not to. Okay, we're going to go for the dive ball. Critical capture. GG. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. I like when random, unplanned things happen like this. And he gets added to the shiny collection. Don Fan shouldn't be here. This is my shiny collection so far, not the dittos. Those dittos are my Masuda dittos. I should probably make a video on how to get your own Masuda ditto, because I've been working on it, and now I have a 5 IV Masuda ditto that I'm the OT of, which is pretty neat. This is definitely one of my favorite. Come on. Okay, where were we? Making our way back to where the cloth encounter was and where he ate his Herba Mystica. Is it this one? No, he's gonna be aware of me, right? Yeah, he's aware of me. Definitely not him. It's actually this one who you can just drive into him and nothing will happen. That's how you know it's the Titan. Be sure to save in front of him. Glaw. Glaw indeed, sir. I bought more luxury balls because I think I'm actually relying on critical captures now. Oh, first throw, critical capture. <laughs> the cloth location is right here. Figured I'd show you. By the way, if you don't know, critical captures are directly related to how many Pokemon you have caught. I'm pretty sure it's how many are registered in your deck. So once you have the Pokedex complete, you're gonna see critical captures a lot more often. Next, on to Orthworm Gym. We're gonna go to the East Province Area 3 Watchtower, by the way, from the Watchtower, which if you look at the minimap is right next to me, you can make your way over to where Orthworm Gym over here is. And uh, you definitely know it's the right one because you can't walk into him or throw a Pokemon at him. Drop down a hard save right in front. Or Thwarm, yep. While I do enjoy many of the designs of uh, some of the new Pokemon, Orthworm is not one of my favorite. I do have to say that. And first turn, wake up again. Does he have early bird as an ability? Doesn't Orthworm have like a new ability that you absorb ground type moves, I think? Maybe that's its hidden ability? I need to look into that. Critical capture. There's only like four, that wasn't bad. In case you're wondering, the exact location for Orthworm is gonna be located right here on the map. By the way, be sure to go unlock this fast travel point for the Million Volt Skyline. That was the last one I was missing. You know the last one we're gonna go to? It's gonna be at the lake, and we need to make our way right here. I believe we need to go speak to the same Tatsugiri that we used for the actual Titan event. Yo, it throws me off so much when they make Slowpoke spawn around Flamigos because Flamigo's shiny color is the Slowpoke color. There's Salmon color, there's Tuna color, and there's the other one. Okay, all the Tatsugiri are gone. We're gonna go to the little piece over here. And yep, there he is. If I walk into him, nothing happens. That's how we know we have the right one. I wonder if it's always the Salmon one. Aye, Titan. You know, even though this is the largest a Tatsugiri can be, it's still not large. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good news. I was already I was already attacking you. All right, first luxury ball. Crit luck. Nice. I don't I think that was a crit. It's so hard to tell when they're floating. These Pokémon because they are placed encounters are not going to be appearing in each other's games. As you can see here in Scarlet, I have Great Tusks showing up. This is the encounter one, obviously. And as you can see in Violet, because I've already caught my Titan, there, there's nothing here. I could literally just occupy the same space that he is in and nothing will happen. And if you're playing Pokemon Scarlet, you're gonna be able to encounter Great Tusk over here. Uh, I feel like Great Tusk is noticeably larger. Oh wait, I could just have me in the background, like like cheering, cheering my myself on. 
I have no luxury balls. What happens if I run away? I cannot run away. Okay, I'm gonna turn my game off and turn it back on. You guys ever notice that this lady on her Cyclozar has like a cool blue saddle for it? Why don't we have saddles for our legendary Pokemon? Is that gonna be in the DLC? That better be in the DLC. While Cloth and Bombarder and Tatsugiri and Orthworm can all be bred, Great Tusk, Iron Treads, and all of the Paradox Pokemon are not able to breed. So because of that, you're only gonna be finding them in the wild. And the chance of you finding a six IV in the wild is infinitely small since they do not have any perfect IVs when you find them in Area Zero. So outside of using Bottle Caps to enhance the individual values of your Iron Tread or Great Tusk that you catch, this is going to be the best one that you could possibly receive. Oh, critical capture on the first one, thank you. Makes this video so much easier to edit. Why did I want to catch them in Luxury Balls? Just so I could do this, because I know there's exactly six Titans. That. That's a baller scene right there. Tatsugiri, Titan, Great Tusk, Titan, Iron Treads, Titan, Bombarder, Titan, Plough, Titan, and Orthoworm, Titan. There we go. That is going to be the six Titan Pokemon of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And they are, they are some big boys. Apparently size mattered more in, in the past. In the future, it, size, size doesn't matter. See that? See that? Important thing to note. Ladies, oh, you get back here. You're not a Titan. While we do have no information for a Pokemon Home update, I could assume that these marks are going to be passed down the same way that Titan marks are. However, the Totem Pokemon, unfortunately, didn't get their own marks. I can't wait to move the Totem Pokemon over to this game to see if they have a size difference. Well guys, I hope you found this information helpful for you to get yourself all six Titan Pokemon of these games. Of course, five being exclusive to one and five being exclusive to the other. You would have to trade with someone else for the other copy of the game to get that Titan. Guys, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and until next time, Austin John out. Man, they see me shining. Like I got the charm, stay strapped, got that jet ball in my palm Fell from the sky, guess I'm the chosen one And if you need to know how, check out Austin John Champion flow, flow, yeah, I got that Champion flow, flow